Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep and rest your head. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome to Great Sword. That pause, of course, was so you could all applaud the best weapon. Today, then, we have quite the fun little set that also happens to be superbly effective. It's a bit of crit draw action, because you know what? In Iceborne, thanks to Velkana... I'm Velkana! The Iceborne Dragon, you flagship, hang on. You suck! Nergigante, and I'm here to say, excuse me? Crit draw is really quite good. Even to the point that you can kind of get away using elements, but we're not gonna use elements today. Yeah. We are thinking about statuses, namely that of the sleep, because hitting things very hard when they're asleep as a great sword is, well, ooh, you know what I'm saying. So it's a very simple premise because it's hard to really build too creatively when you need to use four pieces of one set in order to get the effect that makes it viable. 30% more damage being pumped out from Velkana is just unbeatable. But you know me, I don't just do the normal. If you want the normal, you bust out something like this. Using the Rajan Club, it does monstrous damage, and it even uses the little bit of crit element from the Velkana 2 set that otherwise goes to waste a lot of the time, and it really does pack a punch. <laughs> However, sleep, sleep, sleep. And I did a set similar to this back in higher rank, but great swords with sleep aren't the best, let's say. So it was it was fun, but that's about it. Whereas this time around, thanks to Brute Tigrex and his incessant yelling, we have the wild bite. This until Rajeng was tied the highest raw greatsword in the game, and it has hidden sleep upon it. Now, minus 30% affinity is awful, which is why we definitely want to be crit drawing this, because it's the only non-build butchering way to get any semblance of crit going on. So, we end up getting ourselves a bit of free element action, but the thing is, building it into your build really cripples the damage, and it's also not that necessary, because the way Great Sword Apply Status is very slowly. So, we're going to use the power of Glider Mantle. Now, the thing is, in Iceborne, obviously, mantles have slots. Glider Mantle lasts forever ages and has the shortest cooldown, which means you can use it a lot, which means you just whack some release decorations in there, and lo and behold, you essentially put on the I'm going to put you to sleep now mantle. And it works so effectively. It lets you use Elementless in the main build, making the weapon hit like a truck, while still having the option to put the monster to sleep for one colossal hit, which is both a lot of fun, but also speeds up the hunt. At least... If goddamn Barnos stop goddamn waking up the monster every goddamn time! Seriously! I don't understand what their problem is! I got two sleeps in like a minute! You know how good that is? How much extra damage you could do? But no! Barnos! Ah, <sighs> this is a job for only one man. The small game hunter! Dangerous games are dangerous! Dangerous games are dangerous! The danger games are dangerous! Danger games are danger games! So this is what we're working with on a raw level, and it is absolutely sublime. Our one piece is Damascus Chest, it just gives us the most slottage, lets us finish off a, a bit of focus, which is very good for crit draw, and really, there's not a lot to explain. The Handicraft Charm gives us a very comfortable amount of purple sharpness, 30 hits, which takes a while to go through crit drawing, so that is lovely, and also this having the purple sharpness is what 
Athletics compete with the Rajang and it's monstrous raw, so that's very good too. We make up the minus 30% affinity from having level 4 critical eye and from a affinity augment on the weapon as well as a health augment. Because the thing is, this set not only kills things very quickly, it does it so safely. I just don't have to heal doing this. The inherent careful nature of sniping with draws. And I will admit, by the way, having a crit draw with a Tigrex weapon is the most old school satisfying thing because that used to be the style. Tigrex was always the highest draw and you played Greatsword with the highest draw weapon in a crit draw set. So it's kind of really cool to come full circle and be doing that in Iceborne. Either way, you negate the affinity quite nicely, and then between Divine Blessing, the Health Augment, and just the careful nature of the playstyle, you just barely need to think about your own survival whatsoever, and it's absolutely glorious, especially for monsters that are very inherently good to crit draw, like Seething Basil, like Rajang, like Kirin, anything that you can make this work with, because hitting for 6700, a draw attack is fantastic. Obviously, True Charge hurts a lot more, more, but that doesn't really matter. This can compete. The fastest seething I did was about eight minutes, which isn't breaking any records. But to say I didn't have to heal once during that time, yeah, that is fairly goddamn comfortable and gives you a little bit of options for playstyle. And it would have been even faster if I wasn't doing the sleep gimmick, which is just fun, okay? Having that sleep mental option. You want your Palico to also have his sleep weapon on and the Mialatov cocktail so he applies it as fast as possible. It really helps you out. The second mental slot, I use Affinity Booster just so I can true charge wake up because even if it doesn't crit, it still does more damage on your sleeping target and giving it a 50% chance to crit is definitely very nice, but you can use that whatever. It's your variable mantle slot. So it's a very simple build. You play like normal crit draw, but you can select to put on your glider mantle, put the monster to sleep and absolutely hit it thunderously for a colossal amount of damage and just a nice little pause in the battle, a little bit of a reset, and it's just a lot of fun. That really is all there is to say here. It's just a lot of fun, incredibly safe, incredibly powerful, incredibly effective, and very different from your usual Iceborne Great Sword Fair, and you get to use a bloody Tigrex's spike extending jaw, which is really, really nice, and I'm just glad there is a use for the Tigrex weapons. I'm very happy it has sleep on it indeed. Otherwise, we'd have to use, like, Radaban, and nobody wants that. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think of this. Like you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. Oh, good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.